guys, this is Marie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing our full play home tour. I have a three and a half year old and a five and a half year old, and I've designed this space to accommodate homeschool environment, remote learning environment, and also lack of extracurricular activities. So we have areas for education, we have area for creative development, for play, just imaginative play, and then for active play. So I will share all of it with you. Uh, I will share also materials that I use and all kinds of toys that I use. But if you want any of more in-depth videos, I will link them for you in the description if you want to learn more about my creative area or any other toys. And now, without further ado, let's get started. So right as you come in into the playroom, there is a kid's bathroom here. They have their towels. This um, hooks are really cute. I'll just show you real quick. They're dinosaurs, all three of them. Uh, pick those up in Target. So they have all kinds of stuff for their hygiene, some of their toys, the step stool, and then we turn in and we come in here. So the first area I will show you is right over here. On the wall, I have all kinds of dress up for Justin. Scarlett, my daughter, has her own dress up uh, station in her room. His dress up stuff is not as much, so he has it all hanging here. It is his doctor's outfit, dinosaur, dragon costumes, and the fireman outfit. Mentioned all of them in my recent video for three-year-olds. Then that's his toy collection. That's predominantly what he plays with. And then there is a farm from Melissa and Doug with some animals. Right next to that, we have Scarlet's Cinderella castle. And this castle is decked out fully with all kinds of princesses and dolls. It came furnished with the furniture and it was, I think two years ago she received it. Has a bed and a, and a table there, has a throne with a Cinderella shoe and the bottom floor has a kitchen and a bathroom as well. She has pretty much all of the princesses there. And then to continue with her girly stuff, this is more of her area here, is uh, this Barbie closet. Let me pull it out. So that's her Barbie closet. It came with some clothes, but there is some extra in there right now. And that's where we keep most of her doll clothes. Then there is that box right there. Has more of her Barbie doll clothes. Just have to keep it somewhere. Over here I have a smaller house. I think I've shared that one before with you as well in my previous playroom tour. So there's like all kinds of little theories and tiny furniture came with it as well. Both of the uh, houses are from Kidcraft. Then move on in here, still Scarlet's area, and it's very similar to my previous playroom tour, so I'm not gonna spend much time on it. There is some pretend cookies over there. That's all the doll clothes. This stroller is from Toys R Us. It was like 10 bucks and with us forever. So she has all her dolls here. This was pretty cool. My mom got this. It's a backpack that comes with a bunch of clothes. Wait, this was from you. Amazon and it came with like six outfits with shoes and stuff. And it's nice because it all comes in this cute backpack that you could keep it in. And that's where we store it. This baby changing table is an awesome toy. We really love it. And I also love that it actually allows me to store stuff. And here she has, she has cupcake. There's some pretend food in there. And this is a mommy bag where she has like stuff that she needs to take off her toy babies. And there's more clothes hanging on the hangers over there. And this is, I think, the new thing. We recently got it. Also, my mom got it for them. It's a double stroller and it comes with a bag in the back as well. Kids really enjoy this one. We actually took this one for a walk quite a bit. And there is a bassinet with another baby over here. I was ready to film a playroom tour back in September, but that's what I've been waiting for. It's been back ordered. This is amazing. That's a um, at home play gym for the kids from Brain Rich Kids. Due to COVID, all their shipments were delayed, so it took me a little bit to get it. But I'm very excited because ever since we've got it, we installed it. It was really easy. It took us about two days. Not full on, it's just, you know, would come back to it. And the kids love it. So the weight limit on this is 220 pounds, which means that both of my children and I can safely hang in it. The monkey bar is at the top. It has pull up bar, the ladder, then there is the rope you can climb up on, and there is these things that you can just swing on and hang on. The kids are such little monkeys. I don't know if yours are, mine are. They love climbing. 
And then on the floor here is the mat that I've got from Ikea. I believe it was about $20, something like that. And um, yeah, it's just to cushion it if they do fall off of it. I mean, this thing is awesome. Uh, here I have a giraffe. This has been with me for a while. And then I have these blocks. Every playroom tour, I'm gonna say it again, the best toy you can ever invest in. Kids still love it. Over here, I have another great toy, is the tunnel. My kids still love it. They used, Justin used to love it as a baby. Scarlett used to love it as a baby, and it still is with me. Years later, this is a big basket full of stuffed animals of all sorts and some kind of random toys that we get as gifts. So here is the like a, a look at that area, how it looks like. So I try to remove any kind of furniture from there, so just in case they do a slip off of it or something, they're not gonna hit anything. Then over here is my dinosaur area, and it's pretty much the same since my last playroom tour. I Again, I'll link it for you guys. Here's my dinosaur top. This is my medium-sized dinosaurs, and that's gigantic dinosaurs that are Justin's absolute favorite. Pasqual is over there. Pasqual needs uh, some updates to his habitat. I just cleaned it out. So I'm gonna buy him some more stuff. Now let's look over here. Now, that was Scarlet's area back there. This is predominantly Justin's together with dinosaurs. He has this kid craft table that has been amazing. His favorite toy for a very, very long time. And all of his trucks are standing underneath. It also has storage for all of his Hot Wheels cars. And there's the same storage on the other side. It also has uh, a small cups hanging on the sides there, the blue ones where we keep extra Lego pieces. And then there is that storage for Hot Wheels cars. On this side, I have the stepping stones leading up to the play gym. Kids love stepping stones. It actually is one of the best toys by far as well. They love climbing on it, playing floor is lava. But that's more of Justin's trucks and stuff that he has here. And then we will kind of turn this way and move on to my educational area. Before I move on to the other side of the room, I wanted to share with you that our entire playroom is shoppable on Amazon. I created a store instead of sending lots of links. So if you have any questions about any materials, it's gonna be linked below. You can go and look at it and see if you have any questions. Feel free to ask me in the so comments. This is how it all looks from this side. This is my Montessori area. Um, if you've seen my previous playroom tours, you've been a subscriber of mine, you know I do Montessori at home. When we had um, our previous playroom, like all of the Montessori materials were spread out in the playroom, but for homeschool purposes, I've created that specific area where nothing is distracting to us. So we pretty much spend when we are now homeschool on this side of the room, this table, I have two tables. One of them is a bit bigger, but I, it doesn't matter. Like Scarlett sits at this one and Justin sits at that one. They alternate. This one is more for crafts. If we do any kind of messy stuff, you can see it's all right here. And then over the year, I have this cart with all kinds of art supplies. I did film uh, the creative must-haves for homeschool video, so I will link it for you. I went through everything that I have in there, but that's, to, to be honest, my favorite way to organize art supplies, it seems to stay this way the best out of all the ways that I tried to organize it before. Here is Scarlett's uh, art case that she really loves. Right here on this table, this is from Ikea. This is my laptop charger. Sometimes we, when we do teacher conferences, I have to have it. So this is Justin's uh, activity with clothespins and leaves. I'll be changing that one soon. There is some work from our school laying on the table here and I'm gonna step back so it used to be a creative area that's why it says create but then it became like a homeschool area so this is pretty much like my plan she has her sign language alphabet hundreds chart over there this is a loom we've been working on it Kurt asked to do it it's not finished then there is this lacing shoe I believe that one was from Melissa and Doug I also have Roomba in this corner. I can't imagine my playroom without Roomba because every time we're done, I just turn it on and it kind of cleans it up very nicely. So there is a shot of this area and 
here i'm gonna go through everything these I are have. beauty pops they're great for making necklaces but also great for practice of fine motor skills kids don't realize they practice anything because they're lots of fun my children really love them this is jumbo numbers magnetic numbers that go on the board right over here when we need them this is a geo board right there that's uh, a Montessori material for Justin for twisting and practicing of fine motor skills. Play the basket. Here I have Scarlett made this activity and I kept it here. I thought that was very sweet of her. She wanted to Justin to practice his fine motor skills. Here is all my pattern materials, younger one and older version. I still keep them. Justin likes them. So oh my gosh, my polish got left open. So this is a polishing work from Montessori. This is just a clothespins activity for um, pincer grass practice. This is my cute clock. Pouring set, this is also a Montessori activity. And in this basket here, I have my materials. So handwriting without tears, schoolsy, and this material here as well. Let's put that back. This all baskets are from Target. And this shelves, I pretty much stacked up the ones that I had. You can see this is a smaller version, the three cubby ones. And this is one was one shelf before. I don't recommend it for younger children. My kids are big enough. I would say that probably would be a bit of, a bit dangerous for younger kids to have that. So this is our magnet tiles, full on set. Or oh, maybe it was Picasso tiles. I can't remember. They're all the same. This is our puppets. Kids love the puppets. And I actually have a puppy theater I'm going to show you later. Moving on here is my bookcase with all sorts of books, kids' work folders. On the bottom here, I have some extra materials. I have 10 frames, matching memory game, magnetic puzzles, um, map puzzle, Snap and sort activities. That's uh, a chalkboard we do. And that's another Play-Doh set. My mom just got the kids. So that area over here was more of a practical life activities, fine motor skills activities. And then this side here is our numbers and letter works and all kinds of more somewhat advanced works. So I have here um, math links. Those are from learning resources. I use them a lot in my videos. You've seen it in my homeschool vlogs. This is my uh, clothespin alphabet. We still have that. Those are my sound cylinders from Montessori. You probably have seen them if you've been with me for a while. This is Justin's little alphabet, phonetic alphabet, a bit of a mess. Oh. And those boxes, kids still play with them. They're just there for fun. I have geometric shapes from learning resources, my counting materials from Montessori, my uh, counting material from Plant Toys that's been with me for a while. Montessori colored beads and uh, leaf counters. And on the bottom here is a bit of kind of a mess. There's a lot of materials, but there is uh, teens and tens board, then sequencing board. Then I have play dominoes. We do dominoes with Scarlet. And then over there, I have chickpeas. Uh, I use chickpeas as counters sometimes as well. Here, it's also kind of quite a bit messy, but here's my tray where we do writing the numbers. This is sight words, alphabet flashcards, and word building uh, lessons there. These are my learning resources, counting the years, and that's the alphabet works from Melissa and Doug. Here I have um, planks, similar to Kiva planks. They're called brain blocks, and you can build pretty much anything like what's on this cards. And my last material in this area is the movable alphabet from Montessori. We just keep it on the floor like this. And then we cover it up and that's where it stays. This is our Duplo Lego table. It's a bit distracted and I wanted to film it in a better state, but a lot of the times that's how it looks. So it's a disaster before the masterpiece. Now right here, the lights on the walls are from Ikea. I mentioned my previous playroom tour. We've got three of them around um, and we also have Alexa plugs wired to them. This is right here. It's probably listening to me right now, but we use it like, oh, what time is it? What date is it? And stuff like that. And also like when we want to turn on or off Pasquale's lights or the lights in the playroom, it's really handy. Storage, because I got requests for that. Guys, it is storage. However, 
pretty my playroom looks it's still like it's a working room just wanted to give this disclaimer all right let's get to it so the room we have a playroom in is technically uh an, a second master in our house so it has a closet and that's where i store majority of my stuff so i mean there is really not a good organization it's kind of piled up on shelves up there i do have bins for the kids toys like baby toys are right there and right there and that's some art then there is another basket of art and another box of art this is my additional materials that i rotate I a lot of times rotate the uh the practical life materials this is my additional crafts that i keep in here this is more of schoolwork kind of pile here and that i have a printer and a laminator right there and this here also houses additional crafts and materials i have also some baby toys stored away here and here is my uh puppet theater the reason it's not out it just doesn't have any space we pull it out when we do our puppets which we do quite frequently this is actually a very very used toy i just don't have a good space for it anywhere else except here and then back there i also have some musical instruments uh, like for more babies on the door here i have this throwing set from ikea hanging older kids actually enjoy this a lot over the years i filmed the playroom tours and you can see how the kids have grown with their room how materials have changed and also check out my tour reviews playlist my homeschool vlogs all of that and if that's the kind of content you're looking for subscribe to my channel give this video a like if you did and come back for more